If you're over 50, you've probably heard someone say, take your vitamin D for your bones, or collagen's great for your skin, or magnesium helps you sleep and poop. Well, that's all true, but here's what you may not know. These nutrients don't thrive in isolation. They work as a team, and when you stack them right, collagen, vitamin D, K2, magnesium, you're actually optimizing how they function together. That's what the science is showing, and it's what I want to unpack today with how this combination supports your bones, your heart, your joints, your skin, even your mood and your muscle function. I'm also gonna flag who should be cautious, how to talk to your doctor about these supplements, and I'll show you what smart stacking looks like in regard to these nutrients. As always, nothing here is intended to be personal medical advice, but it is evidence-based information that you can bring to your doctor and discuss and get their input. I wanna talk about these four nutrients that don't just help you on their own, but when you put them together, they actually work better as a team. Now, let me paint a picture for you. Imagine building a skyscraper and all of the materials that might be involved to build it. We can think of collagen as the metal frame of the building, but in the body, here's the correlation. Collagen gives your bones structure and flexibility. Calcium, on the other hand, is the concrete, the marble, the hard fixtures. Vitamin D is the doorman letting calcium calcium into the building, and K2 is the contractor directing the project and telling everyone where to go. It says, calcium, go into the bones and to the teeth and stay away from the arteries and the kidneys. And magnesium, magnesium is the power switch that turns on the light so that vitamin D can actually work and do what it does. If one of those pieces is missing, the building is actually weaker and less stable at its core. If they're all there, the building is strong and stable. Let's break them down one at a time. Vitamin D three, we know it as the sunshine vitamin. It helps your gut absorb calcium from food, but that's not enough on its own. That's where K2 comes in. K2 activates proteins that help guide calcium into the bones and into the teeth and to keep it out of soft tissues like blood vessels and kidneys. Without K2, taking more vitamin D acts like a bad investment, sending calcium to all the wrong places, leading to hardening of the arteries instead of strong bones. That's part of what we call the calcium paradox. Now, magnesium, this one flies under the radar, but it's huge. Magnesium is needed to convert vitamin D into its active form, a form that your body can use. Without enough magnesium, vitamin D just sits there like an unopened can of sardines. Magnesium also helps your muscles relax after they contract. It helps your heartbeat stay steady. It supports your nerves. If you've ever had a muscle cramp in your calves or in your thigh, twitching of your eyelids or trouble sleeping, magnesium could be the missing part of the puzzle. And collagen, people think of collagen as just a beauty supplement. The science shows it can improve skin hydration and elasticity, but it also plays a role in bone and joint health. Remember that skyscraper? Collagen is the rebar inside of your bones, the flexible scaffolding that minerals attach to. As we age, we make less of it. That can mean weaker bones, stiffer joints, drier skin. Hydrolyzed collagen has been shown to help rebuild some of that framework when you put these four together. When you put these four together, the benefits multiply. Stronger bones, smoother joint movement, better skin elasticity, more flexible blood vessels, calmer muscles and nerves, and even more stable mood because magnesium and vitamin D both support brain chemistry. Now, here's the science. A 2024 review in nutrients showed that if you only take vitamin D, but you're low in magnesium or K2, you may not see the benefits you expect because the cofactors are missing. Another large review showed collagen consistently improves skin hydration and elasticity. And now we know that magnesium deficiency is linked to higher risk of osteoporosis, diabetes, cardiac dysrhythmias, even depression. These aren't fringe ideas. They're well-documented in the literature. So what do you do with this information? Well, to begin with, start simple. First, get your vitamin D level checked. Your doctor can order a blood test called a 25-hydroxy-D and then adjust your vitamin D intake based on those results and your doctor's input. Secondly, add magnesium if you're not getting enough. Around 300 to 400 milligrams per day of a gentle form like glycinate or citrate works for most adults. If you have kidney disease, pause here. Talk to your nephrologist first. 
period. Third, pair vitamin D3 with K2. A common dose of 100 to 200 micrograms of K2 as MK7. This is metaquinone 7. It's a fat-soluble vitamin. It plays a critical role in bone and heart health. But if you're on warfarin or other blood thinners, whether for blood clots or artificial heart valves or cardiac arrhythmias, you must clear this with your doctor, period. And finally, adding 5 to 10 grams of hydrolyzed collagen daily can be really easy. Mixing it into your coffee or a smoothie, not as a replacement for protein, but as a specific signal to your skin, your joints, and your bone. Timing for D3 and K2, these are fat-soluble vitamins, so take them with your largest fat-containing meal. Magnesium, whatever your stomach can tolerate it. Many people take it in the evening. Collagen can be taken anytime you remember to take it. And pair all of this with enough protein in your diet, along with regular strength training, because supplements support the process, but movement and strength training command it. Now, let's be realistic. Skin improvements from collagen can take 8 to 12 weeks. Bones remodel over months, not days. Magnesium benefits like fewer cramps or better sleep can happen sooner if you happen to be low. K2's main benefits are a long-term play, protecting your arteries and strengthening your bone density. So think seasons, not quick fixes. So here's the mental model. Collagen builds the framework, vitamin D3 lets calcium in, K2 shows it where to go, magnesium flips the switch, so the whole process works in harmony. That's the team roster and they play the game together. Two years ago, I had a cardiac CT and my calcium score was zero. I was really happy about that, but on an abdominal CT around the same time, they noticed some calcium deposits in my aorta. That's arterial sclerosis and it's the abnormal deposition of calcium in a place where I don't want it and I don't need it. It's important to take care of yourself at every stage of life, but in our 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond, the stakes start to get higher. Dialing in your health means eating better, exercising consistently, getting good sleep, managing your stress, keeping your weight, your blood glucose, and your blood pressure under control, and doing what you can to stay strong with each passing year. Collagen, D3, K2, and magnesium all play major roles in optimal health. Talk to your doctor about checking your vitamin D level, get their thoughts about vitamin D3, K2, magnesium, and collagen, given your unique medical history. Drop a comment down below if you've tried this combination and what you may have noticed first. Better sleep, less joint stiffness, changes to your skin, your mood, or your outlook. And if this video has been helpful to you in any form or fashion, please share it with someone you feel would benefit from watching it as well. YouTube thinks that you should watch this video next. All the best to you, and I will see you in the next video.